right, so for this module, what's really cool is we're going to keep one chord shape, but you're going to get three different chords, right? So you're going to have a C, a D, and a G. But what's great is it's not going to sound like, right? It's going to be, you know, spiced up a little bit, a little more popified. <laughs> oh, no pun intended, man. And then, right? And you get to keep one chord shape. We're going to go back to that 6 8 feel we were doing. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then what we're going to do is we're going to use our pinky to add a couple little melody notes on the top of those chords. So let's zoom in for a closer look. All right, so the style of the strumming that we're going to do. Right? And what we're going to do is we're just going to apply that to the chords. What we can do is keep this same C shape. What I would suggest is you put a little of the skin of your ring finger to touch this low E. Or your thumb, right? Same thing we were doing earlier. To make sure that you don't hit that low E string. Then from there, we're going to move it up a whole step or two frets. So this exact same shape. Really cool D chord. Now, now this is where we can start playing around with the other notes on top. So I'm going to add my pinky to the 5th fret E or the 5th fret B. doesn't matter. They both work great. And we're going to do that exact same thing. And we're going to move it all the way up to where your 3rd finger or your ring finger is on the 10th fret. And that's where our G is. Right? Same thing, 10th fret E or B. So when you apply that to the strum pattern, it's going to sound like this. Right? We'll spice it up. the gusto and put your pinky up one string to the G and then move your first finger and get a seven chord, which is also awesome, right? So we can go. So it's, again, it's those playing with those melodies on top, too, that are great, and that it helps give a little bit of character to a common chord progression. Now, we've, you know, already given it a little bit of, you know, pop pizzazz, right, with the inversions of the chords we've chosen to use. But to keep it from getting stale, you know, and repeating over and over again, just add those higher melody notes with your pinky. And then that seven chord as well. And that'll really help keep the ear involved and it, it's a great background for a vocal melody to go over as well. And then you get to do one strum pattern, one chord shape, and just do subtle tweaks with one finger and you are in.